this is a really good question. If a man is not willing to commute to you when you drove hours to see him, question mark? So would you give up on him? For six months I drove two hours to see this guy and saw him once a week at least. He put low effort and I'm getting sick of it. But this is a kind of a larger question, a relationship question, that a lot of people have. And it's one of what kind of effort should you give and expect in a relationship. I mean, I'm no relationship perfect experts. I've had a string of not great, one very long relationship that lasted eight years and some a lot shorter than that. So, but what I have learned about myself, because that's the main thing that, I, that came out of these relationships, is how much I expect. I'm a very, like, very giving, emotional person, that's my deal. Not everyone's like that, don't expect anyone to be like that. But I like to give a lot because it makes me feel comfortable to give emotion, give honesty and just sort of give affection, sort of physical, emotional, that kind of stuff. Very affectionate person. I found in, at times when I didn't receive the same level that I gave, that made me very unhappy and anxious, unnerved at all times in those situations. And I found that for two reasons. One was I was giving way more than I could possibly expect someone to give me back, and that was unfair. Secondly, that I was giving enough, let's say 50%, but I was getting 20% back in terms of affection. Uh, as long as there's an instability, it's just not going to work. And it may be that that other person just isn't as good at giving the same kind of affection that you expect and the way they show their affection and show their compassion or whatever may be different than you are used to. So you have to understand that person, understand the way that they give, because that will change how you receive. Like if someone is a very tactile and handsy, like not, not that kind of hands, <laughs> not like goosing, that's gross. No, it's like just feelings of like a gentle touch, a hug, those kind of things. Someone might be more inclined for that, but you might be someone that isn't really into that kind of affection. So if you communicate those things with someone and you find that, oh, I can be verbally affectionate or I can be shy affectionate, Cockettish, and that's still appreciated and then reciprocated, given back by the other person, then you'll find yourself in that kind of 50 50 give and take. You want to feel wanted in a relationship, you want to feel all the things that a good relationship should provide that's security, stability, sort of love, affection, generosity, all those kind of things. Maybe some weird, freaky stuff with a bat. A clown, sort of gloves with spikes and poison. I don't know your deal. But just establish, in a relationship, always establish what your boundaries, your needs are. If you don't know what those are, try and establish them with another person or take time to do that by yourself. I spent a long time not asking and answering those questions about myself and that caused me to break down really badly when I fell out of that long-term relationship when I suddenly realized oh maybe a lot of my personality was kind of linked to this other person because I hadn't spent the time to actually establish my kind of emotionality especially if that person is a giraffe at the local zoo and you say that they're your girlfriend and Anytime someone asks about them, they say, like, look at the most beautiful eyelashes and whoa, you've seen necks, but look at this le neck and legs. She's, she's got them, this many. Um, and you do that for eight years and then you find out that you're out of money and the people at the zoo keep telling you to go home and stop harassing the giraffes, but you learn something at the end of it. 